Okay, so here's how to do GarageBand. I'm teaching you straight from my bed. Here's what we do. Uh, click on the little GarageBand icon. If you don't have it down in your uh, dock thing, just go to your hard drive, click on it, and search for it, and find it, and then click on it. Anyways, so click on it, um, and then it'll like bounce up and down. Let's say initializing. Then the thing will come up. And you just hit uh, create a new project, and then put in a title uh, where you want to save it. Um, the tempo, time signature, what key it's going to be in. Uh, this stuff you can change later if you're not cool with it. Um, you know. So here we go. Create. Do, 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 do. Waiting. Okay. Now it should pop up with a little keyboard on there, um, like in the middle of the screen. We'll say keyboard, grand piano, and then to the left it will also say grand piano and have a picture of a piano. If you don't have that keyboard, you can do uh, control or uh, command, apple, whatever the thing is, command, uh, and K. So command K should bring up your keyboard. There's another thing called musical typing, which you can select with up arrow and command K, um, or you can just find it under window. So anyways, we got that. Now, what you want to do if you want to record just uh, straight in to the computer, like talking into the computer and it using your the internal mic, hit new track. So go to track up on the top and then go down to where it says new track click on that it'll say software instrument track or real instrument track click on real instrument track create uh, now it's got some stuff on the right track info um, just some different options with effects and different crap for now don't even worry about that just to uh, you know record so just hit record in the bottom there's like a red button um, and you can just it'll give you a, a count in if you want you can go to control up at the top control and then right underneath metronome is a thing called count in make sure metronome is clicked too if you want uh, or not might be better to do it without it so I'm gonna go ahead and click count in and then I'm going to get rid of metronome. <laughs> okay, so here we go. You'll hear it click. Test, test, one, two, test, test, one, two, test, test, one, two, test. Then you press play, or you can press the space bar to uh, stop the recording. Okay, now hit return, and it'll go back to count one. Now to record a new track on top of that, Go to track again, and new track, real instrument track again. Now I'm going to create what they would call an overdub. Um, so hit record again, and you'll be able to hear the old track, and I'll add some new stuff. Test, test, one, two, test, test, one, two, test, test, one, two, test. This is a weird test. Press play. Or you can press the space bar. Then press space to, bar. Uh, so I press space bar again, and it stopped. Okay. Um, now let's say I want to export this awesome masterpiece. Oh wait, let me do one more thing. Go to a uh, grand piano, and if you don't want to use that track, you can always hit track and hit new track, and then select software instrument track. But anyway, grand piano. Now when you click on this keyboard that should be in the middle of your screen. If there's not a keyboard that looks like a piano in the middle of your screen, do uh, Command K. Now you can click on the different keys. There's your piano. Now if you want to change it to something different, for instance a horn, go to your right, pick horns, uh, live funk horns, here's what that would sound like. That's fun. Uh, okay, so let's add this in the mix. So now make sure you're clicked on um, uh, this first track that would now say live funk horns. 
press record. And we're gonna add some stuff. Test, test, one, two, test, test, one, two, test, test, one, two, test, two, test, one, 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 two, so people can listen to it. So go to share in the top button there and export song to disk and it should say export your song to disk. Compress should be checked. Compress using mp3 encoder audio settings high quality and press export and it'll ask what you want it saved as I think and where you want it saved Right now, I just got it set on my song to desktop. So hit save, and it says creating mix down, and then it should be there. So minimize GarageBand. Look on your desktop. Um, my desktop has a bunch of stuff on it right now. Uh, anyways, you should be able to drag that into your iTunes, that MP3 that we just created drag it into your iTunes and listen to it and you could send it to people too how rad would that be I'm sure they'd love to hear that cool song okay that's it I'm gonna get up now enjoy